<laughs> first, I forgot how bad that gun is. Wow, that's a tight group. Dang. Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are excited about the wind. <laughs> we are fighting it out here. But today we're excited we're going to be doing some shotgun and some diff all different kinds of ammo loads. I mean there is all different kinds of shot, all different kinds of brands. Um, as you can see on the table we have your traditional, what I would call like a monster gun. You got some Mossbergs. Here's Hagen's uh, 835. You got my 935. But I think what we're really excited to get into today is the Stevens 301, uh, both 20 gauge and 12 gauge, or 20 gauge and 410. 410. So um, these are kind of a new trend that's out right now. Um, you can get these guns uh, really affordable for like 230 bucks, I think. Um, comes with the Picatinny yep. rail. Yep, you can get them with. You can get them with a scope or without a scope. <clears throat> I've had mine for a couple years now, and I put new scopes on a red dot. The one that comes with them is fine. And I put Indian Creek choke tubes just every year, try to get something a little different for them. But I killed a lot of birds with the 410. I killed my first one last year with a 20 gauge. Um, this is what I prefer to use. My buddy Cody Gruber kind of got me hooked on them a couple years ago. And if anybody knows me, I've been preaching about these guns. How affordable and how good they shoot, it's crazy. The ammo, <clears throat> I went straight TSS. I've tried all different kinds of ammo. Um, I've been kind of collecting over the last couple, probably two years. We have different kinds, and I, I'm excited about the Verdict. This is a company that I met down at the Harrisburg Sportsman Show. Uh, as soon as I walked to their booth, they had all the turkey targets laid out, and I knew instantly it was TSS, and it was awesome targets for the 410 and for the 20. I shot a lot of these and killed a lot of birds with this ammo. I'm sure all the ammo is good, but I'm going to try to today try to figure out for myself. Instead of buying all the mix and match like I've been doing, try to Try to get into one ammo, what shot I want and what brand I want to shoot, and then just start kind of getting that ammo instead of collecting all this other odd end stuff. So today that's kind of what I'm doing. I leave in nine days. Me and my buddy Cody are going out to Indiana uh, to that farm. We've seen our videos. We go out there. Really nice people, the Wileys. Um, so I got to get sighted then. Youth season starts next weekend for Hagen and Gabby. So they're going to shoot today as well, obviously. We just got to get everything kind of the way we want it set up wise and ammo versus scope versus whatever we want to do so i think we'll start off probably uh hagen got this for christmas uh this is what you're going to get a uh, real basic model it comes with the stock choke uh, i think it's a 26 inch barrel this is the 410 uh, we didn't even put a scope on this yet this is what you'll get right off the shelf if you choose not to get a scope with it uh, we put a little cheek rest on there so you can hold some shells uh, but we're going to start off with this one and then we'll get up to you know taylor's got the red dot scopes and the was it indian creek choke on there so uh let's get set up we'll shoot some little guns we'll shoot some big guns but uh stay tuned to the end of the video we're actually very excited uh we got some new merch we're retiring the old logo um back from 2019 when we started kind of doing this very excited gabby came up with these um really awesome there will be blood outdoor logos for us and we're going to be doing a giveaway uh probably one hat and one coffee cup uh stay tuned to the end of the video um here's the coffee cups pretty neat uh looks like they'll fit in everyone's uh, cup holder in their vehicle uh, got a couple different style hats got some camo this um, is yeah this is all done right in town with smith and co they yes. do all of our stuff for us and they're i mean they're top notch so. yep they've done the traditional logos for us um and also these new ones so uh these are the uh flex fits that we like but also doing the richardson Snap uh, snapbacks yep so uh, stay tuned to the end of the video to see how to get in the drawing um, to get one of these. So let's uh, let's get to shooting. Let's get shooting. All right, we're gonna get Hagen sighted in. Um, we were looking down the gun, how he's gonna put the bead on the paper. It made more sense to throw the red dot that actually comes with the gun back on it. I have a couple of them laying around because I've upgraded my uh, Stevens that I own. So we got this thrown on for Hagen, and I will tell you when you purchase this gun with the scope, your left to right is backwards on the scope. It took me half a box of TSS to learn this. This is just a quick tip, you buy the gun, the scope, moving left to right. When you click it left, moves it right. 
It's opposite any other scope you ever dial in. And it's quick. I mean, it's helped me out a lot, but it took me half a box. An expensive dude, but. <laughs> So we're gonna get him on paper with these cheap ones, um, touch regular target loads, then we're gonna swap over to uh, TSS and figure out what gun or what ammo he's gonna shoot. Um, we got everything separated out. Nine shots, five, six, seven shots. Um, ninjas, the Verdict, uh, the Federals. We're gonna shoot them all today and uh, see which one we're gonna use. Cool. You're going up. Okay. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Hold it right on there. My hair keeps getting in my face. Oh my goodness. Let's cut it. Come on, Bieber. Okay. That was smooth. That was smooth, wasn't it? I like that guy. Yeah, you got the left target or the right one? Black target? No, right. Right one. You can come up a little bit. That's about, that's not bad though. Looks like we were down in most of the patterns right here, yep. maybe. That's good. We'll come up a little bit and then shoot one more. I'll shoot at this one. Right. Okay. Alright, you guys ready? Yep. Alright, let's go see where I hit. Might be, let's put it on a beer. Let's put it on turkey and okay. see what it does with that. Might have to adjust it, but you're in the neighborhood. All right, we are. We feel like we got it close enough now uh, using target loads. We're going to go with the Turkey Ninja 9.5 shot. These are one of the first ones I ever bought. I ever shot a turkey with, period. Um, these are a heck of a deal. You get 10 of them, I think they're. 60 65 bucks something like that 60 bucks yeah with i mean i've killed birds with them um i've killed birds with most of these turkey loads but we're gonna put one of these in see how it shoots and then just kind of keep going through the tss uh so this is a three inch yep three inch number nine and a half shot by turkey ninja all right so we'll see what happens Here you go, hey. wow Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's insane. Wow. Oh, let's go look. Yeah, let's go look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That, if that happens, if that happens, oh, oh, I don't see That's that. insane. Don't care away. What? I'm telling you, these things are just. Look at that pattern. You don't even have to count. Good shot, Hagen. Wow. I mean, that target. Love that guy. Like a baby now. Dang. She's my baby. Yeah, you can't even. You don't. Insane. You don't count it. You just... <laughs> incredible. What? I killed more birds yeah. than my 410. Yeah, that's it, crazy. You know, it's I got one. Cody Gruber's got one. He's killed many birds. Yeah. Adam Whiteman. His daughter has killed so many birds just with her 410s, and just that's the outcome you get. It's great for youth, but also just think about if you're hiking the back woods we go, yeah, of game land. You know out in Indiana, some of those properties are two and a half miles. Yeah, super light. Before you even hit the woods, yeah. you know how it is out there. And yeah. Last year in New York State game land, I, I, I did buy the 20 just to try it, and that does give you more power. I mean, it's even more yeah. powerful. Like, it's it's crazy. I, I should sell them because I just I will not buy another gun. Yeah. And you don't have the recoil, like no. it's just altogether it's more enjoyable yep. to I shoot. Would, yeah. Cool. Yep. Well, I don't know if we have to shoot anymore, but let's go throw some other rounds through this gun. <laughs> Alright, next. We got the Verdict. This is a, like I said earlier, this is a company I met down at the Harrisburg Sportsman Show. I got to talk with those guys and, you know, probably... Like uh, most companies, they told me that this will outshoot any company out there. But this is nine and a half shot. Really nice group of guys. Um, I've never shot it, so I'm kind of curious how it patterns. Um, but we'll see. I think it was 40, 42 or 44 dollars a box. So I got some for my 410, and I bought a box for my 20 gauge to shoot. So I'm really curious to see how these do. Um, nine and a half shot. We'll throw one in, see what it does. And then. 
you ready? Yep. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Holy. Holy. <laughs> Holy. Hot load, boy. Wow. Look at that. Whoa. It has kicked. I'd say, uh, that's pretty dead bird. Pretty dead bird. <laughs> Wow, I would put them I'd put it right up there with the turkey ninjas. Yes, sir. Now it's between the turkey ninjas and this. Yep, she went 40 and 60. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Take it off and let's uh let's mark it. Wow. What do you I can't, think of that? I can't that's crazy. I think it's great. Alright, so that's gonna wrap up Hagen's gun. Uh, we got it sighted in and shot three different rounds through it. I think the winner at 20 yards so far is a toss up between the verdict and the turkey ninjas. So we're going to close that for a second and then Taylor wants to shoot his gun real quick. This is the 20 gauge. Yep, 301 20 gauge. We're going to, it should still be dialed in from last year when I shot it. Um, already in the holder I have the Remington Premier TSS number nines. I had really good luck with these last year. Um, Killed a bird in New York with them, pattern well. I'm assuming they're gonna do the same thing right now for a shot, but I'd like to try some other stuff that I picked up, like Verdict makes the 20 gauge number nines, and I got some Federal five, six, sevens, and I think Federal nines. I'll double check on that, seven, something like that. But I got four rounds I wanna try, see which one shoots better. Um, then we'll move all the guns out to 40, and then we'll try a couple shots at 60. I've shot this count at 60, and it's without a doubt killed the bird, so. So you've upgraded your red dot. Scope, yep. The, the scope that's on Higgins came with this gun. I just bought this Bushnell. Uh, I think I paid 85 bucks for it. I shot it now on my other gun for two years. Shoots great. Just a little bit smaller, sleeker, nothing expensive. I didn't, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on it, but also upgraded to the Indian Creek choke tubes on both guns. Just, just something every year, just kind of put a little bit more into it. But yep. I'm not saying that the ones they come with, as you see Higgins shoot fine. This, I don't really, I mean, it sh I like to think it shoots a little bit better, but it's just something visually to me that I like. Yep. But, this is a different camo too, right? Yep. We got a little different camo with Hagen's, and this is the the rest for it, or the, the cheek mount rest, because it sits up kind of high, so it helps you get down the barrel of the gun. But we'll just throw a couple shells in it and see what happens. All right, let's go put a new target out there. Yep. Boom. Didn't want that one anyway. Nope. Probably last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. You need it. Jeez. 20. Not bad. You see when you're aiming, you can see the most of the pattern. But where you get out, you know. Jeez Louise. It's a whole paper. You think, we'll try a couple more shots and if it stays a little bit left, we'll move it over the touch, but that's pretty good there, 20. Yeah. Try to learn. All right. So, last thing we got is Two different kinds of federal so i have the meat eater edition um five six seven shot a mix of size pellets in there and then um this one is the straight up seven shot and like i said i haven't shot any of these either um first i guess we'll try the see what the difference is between them but we'll try the five six and seven uh different variety of pellets and we'll see what that one does Cardboard. Dang, that actually. Five, six, and sevens. That was a tighter, tighter group. Yes, buddy. 
Wow. That was actually pretty killer. Oh, you blew a hole through. Dang. Dang. Wow, that's a tight group. Dang. I would say that is crazy. <laughs> Less pellets, I'm assuming. Wow. Some bigger shots. The five, six, and sevens, you know So what if mean? you got brush in your way, yeah. it'll blow through some brush. Dang. It's incredible. Whoa. I can't wait to see what that does out further. All right, so now we got uh, the Federal TSS uh, number seven shot. Um, try these, I've never shot them, of course, but picked these up in East Smithfield, I think, but um, we'll throw one in and see what it looks like. Got it, I mean, I kinda wanna shoot them, it's got the spur tape on the side, so. <laughs> Still good. I mean, crazy tight. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. 20 gauge. It's wild. I see what the hype's about. $200 for the gun with a $80 scope. Yeah. Look at the hole. And these are, I mean, we're moving this around the target. And that's completely through the target. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, that's, that's incredible. All right, so while they're looking for the shells, this is Gabby, uh, my niece, Taylor's daughter. Um, she is going to be going to Indiana, too? No. Nope. Oh, she's not making she's not. She went a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, she, this is her 410. Um, we've already shot all the shells through Higgins, so she's just going to shoot this, make sure it's dialed in for next week's upcoming uh, youth turkey. Youth turkey, yeah. So. We've got quite a few birds out back. I've been heard a couple of them, got a couple on camera, but... So, if I can get her out of bed, we're going Saturday. Heck yeah. And Gabby is the one, the artist behind the new logo. So yes. I guess now's a good time to bring that up. So in uh, the comments below, if you will put, um, just put a comment and put whether you want a cup or a hat. So the keywords to use are cup or hat. And then we can use those uh, keywords to do a, like a tumbler and um, come up with a really random drawing. Right, so, dying, yep. uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're really excited about uh, doing content all year for you guys. Usually we just did uh, kind of like archery season, but really we excited. Are, yeah, we're going to go. I got Indiana in nine days. We're going to head out there. They, their season opener is on a Wednesday. So if I can hunt Wednesday, Thursday, Friday maybe, and then sneak back. We just had a couple friends out in Ohio shed hunting, and they found some state game land that they heard a lot of birds on, and they gave me the pin to. So that's only a couple hours back, heading back home for us. So if we can get finished up in Indiana, which you always hope, yeah. and then sneak back and do a couple days in Ohio before we head home. So we're looking to do probably a seven-day hunt. I mean, we're just, we're just packing gear, and we got my uh, tent cot, and jet boil and i mean we're just gonna rock it and go, stay out in the woods go do it yeah well cool so remember that uh hashtag hat and hashtag cup yep that'll so, put you in the drawing yep that'll put you in the drawing all right gabby let's see what Come you on, got so there you go shell okay mm -hmm. which shell is she shooting through this is it safe shoot? on it the turkey ninja okay. yeah here, pull back. Yeah. Now it's on fire because the red's showing, obviously. There, it's unsafe. So when you get on your target. This is difficult. When you look down there, huh? tell, me, tell me what it needs to do. What do you need? Up, down. That's good right there. Okay. Throw her on fire. Done, done. Huh? The gun is crazy. crazy. How'd it do? Like the rest Sheesh. of them. It's insane though. The fourth time? Yeah. I think Gabby's ready. Yeah. So those, we haven't touched those guns. I haven't shot them since last year. Yeah. And I killed a bird and killed a bird in uh, huh? PA with that one. Find a house. 
Last and I used a 20 gauge and I haven't shot it since and the both of them are just dialed. <clears throat> Shooting Gibby. Look at that. I'll shoot him again. Dead bird. I feel like I would honestly break my shoulder shooting this gun and I'd just be like, Poof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back in the day, bigger was better. Um, I've probably had this gun about 15 years. This is the Mossberg 935 semi-auto. Uh, we're gonna shoot this downrange just to see what it does and compare to, you know, what we're doing with the 410 and 20 gauge. So uh, this is a three and a half inch mag. Um, it's a Winchester Double X, and it's faded, and I can't tell what shot it is. But we're gonna throw this in. We're gonna send one downfield. And uh, see what we got. Should I strap it down? I would strap it down. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Hey, Nobody else uh, has. You I've gotta show what your recoil is. Yeah, I've seen this gun in action. Let me get my muffs on. Okay, I gotta come back right here and lock her. All right, everybody ready? Yep. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> hold her tight. Do you feel like I'm shooting the out six? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, for, I forgot how bad that gun is. Whoa! <laughs> it's with a lead sled, man. Yeah, you want that 410 now? Or? <laughs> yeah. Let's go look. Woo! Mine's not that bad. Yeah, that's good. Let's go take a peek at this. Baby! Okay, I'm gonna get the gun out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get the gun out of the way. Okay. 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 Yeah, let's go take a look at this. Oh. Honestly, there's nothing like stand out like it's comparable to the 410 like look at this shot right I know. Look at it. more bb's of course but as far as kill shots there's it's still there, good it's a good pattern it's yeah 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 i wouldn't not, like sell the gun but it'll go in the back of the cabinet it's like yeah that's, Actually, it's still good there's more bb's obviously it's a three and a half inch 12 gauge so you're gonna have more BBs, but inside where you want to put them, I mean, I would shoot a 410. Oh, we're beating yourself yeah, up. We're beating yourself up. Like, that wasn't staged. I just, like, forgot. I usually take my bow out in archer season and, like, I haven't shot that gun in probably five years. Long time, yeah. So, yeah. It's crazy how the world has came about. Yeah. So, that was the Winchester that I found rolling around my, ca my cabinet. Yeah. Let's go shoot that uh, verdict. Verdict, yeah. All right, so that three and a half threw a good pattern, uh, kicked like a son of a gun. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try these verdicts. This is just a three inch. This is nine shot. So hopefully a little less of a kick right off the bat. Let's see how we make out. Should I strap her down? This you time? might want to strap her down. No. We're good. Twelve thirty. Nobody else has. All right, you guys ready? Yep. It rattled so hard it's not even close to being like. <laughs> Are you gonna strap it down, Dad? Huh? All right, go live. I know. Golly! Wow. So just like before, just a crazy pattern with those verdicts. Yeah. Like insane. You could almost worry about missing too close. Like they're so tight. That is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Look at that hole in the target. It's just Let's go check it out. No, I'm saying the TSS still outperforms any shotgun yes, shell. Just right. if you want that beating, Absolutely. I guess. Let's check it out. Behind the scenes, all the I'm showing off all the kids. Yeah, all right. It literally blew a hole again right through the. I mean, that's incredible. That's the verdict. <laughs> that's incredible. All right, so we have shot um, all different calibers and all different um, different ammo, and we found our favorites. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the tractor, move the bench back to 40. 40. We'll do, we'll do 
couple at 40, and then we'll stretch them out to 60. Okay. I kind of want to see your 12 gauge at 60. Okay. Let's do it. So. All right, so we are back at 40 yards now, and Hagen's up to bat, and first thing he's going to shoot is the turkey ninjas. Yeah, I should be right on the head. Okay, right, right. on the base Looking of the head. Fire. Ready? Right on the base of the neck, right? Squeeze the trigger. That's when it matters. Good luck. So it looks like a little bit left at 40, huh? Yep. That's why, do you think you held right on there? Yeah, I think I was aiming like right there. You want to aim right here, Hagen. Okay, like right there, right at the base of that neck. That's a better target. See it. That's a way better shot there. All right, so that was a turkey ninja. We did adjust his scope. He was tracking just a little bit to the left at 40. So that looks a lot better. Yeah, I think it helps when you have somebody to look down the, look down the scope and then move the dot to where it needs to be. Yep. Yeah, absolutely better. All right, so we did overlap two different shots. One, he just grazed the left side of the target again. So we really didn't want to waste that target. So this is two shots, but you can tell it's tracked way better now. Let's break out the 20 gauge and see what it does at 40. Why? All right, so we're back to 40, Hagen shot is 410. I'm gonna go with the 20 gauge seven shot first. Um, see how it does at 40 yards. Pretty impressive though. Let's take a look. It's pretty better. Yes. Dead bird all day. All day. I'm excited about the next one. Yeah. The next is the blend of five, six, sevens, right? Yeah. Awesome. Five, six, sevens, they they had a tighter pattern I thought before, right? Yes. This is the third degree the meat eater edition that we shot up there at 20 the five six and seven i feel like this was my best pattern at 20. um we'll see what it does blue hole right through to 20. yeah so we're back at 40. he's going to shoot this and then he's going to decide what shell he wants to shoot for the grand finale for the 20 year. gauge versus 12 gauge at 60 yards yep let's do it Twenty gauge, forty yards. I might move it a little bit, just a touch. Yep. Because the other one was a little left. Too. Yep. I feel like I mean it's still a good pattern, but I want to be right here. I think. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Look at that. A couple flyers way over here on this one. Yep. Forty yards, twenty gauge. I think I'm gonna shoot the five, six, and sevens this year. Yeah. Federal, federal five, six, seven, the meat eater ones. Okay. You want to throw this? Pick, ones I picked up for thirty bucks. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Last year's edition or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought the new ones for. 55 or something. Well, let's scoot back to 60. 60. I'll shoot this one since okay. I already got a couple in there. <laughs> there you go. And All let's right. see. Let's see what's up. Okay. Grand finale. What's that? End of the day. So, the only reason you didn't shoot the verdict through your 20 gauge is because you accidentally picked up the 12 gauge. 12 gauge shells. <laughs> So honestly, I would like to see what these would do through your 20 gauge. Yeah. Because these are pretty impressive. I think these are what we're gonna shoot, um, both for the 410 and I don't know. I really don't like my 12 gauge anymore, but that's what we're gonna shoot right now. Um, the verdict TSS through my 12 gauge versus the federal the uh, five six seven shot meat eater edition. I think I got three or four more of these boxes. Through a 20 gauge. Through the 20 gauge. 60 yards, 60 yards, just for fun. All right, 20 gauge, 60 yards, heavy wind.
Now we're going to go with the Verdict 3 inch. Again, these are 9 shot. 60 yards with a pretty heavy crosswind. Then we'll look at the targets. See? Yeah, it's pretty windy out. Ready? Yep. <laughs> you got a bite. Got a bite. <laughs> I think you could kill a turkey when it ejects a shell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess we're not really counting. Look at that. I can already see yours is lit up green. Yeah. Let's go check it out. I was going to wait for the wind to stop, but I thought it was only fair to shoot when you were ready because that's real conditions. I can already see. I already see the results there. Yeah, but I'm gonna have a roost tomorrow. And you're like, I mean, if, if you had the turkey at 60, if you look at these targets, I'm guessing you guys can figure out which one's the, this is the, the Verdict nine shot, three inch through the 12 gauge. That's an awesome pattern. It is. That gun has always been good. Yeah, and then this is the 20 gauge at 60. Yeah. But. I mean, I don't know. I still think it's cool. It's a low end budget gun, um, you know. Yep. Super light. Yep, I'm still taking the 20. Yeah. 20, I'm gonna take 20 in the 410 Pride Indiana, yeah. for sure. That's wild though. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the video. We had a lot of fun shooting some different ammo today. Um, I think at the end, um, I'm going to shoot the Verdict through the 410 and my uh, 12 gauge this year. Those seem to be our two favorite loads for those guns. Uh, we didn't have the Verdict for the 20 gauge. No, nope, thought we did. We didn't have the 12 gauge. But um, I guess all in all, it's all good stuff. It I is. Mean, Going from lead to tungsten, it's a huge difference. I mean, yeah. So you argue the price, and I, I get people's argument on it, but I'm sold. I will shoot the ninjas or the verdict through the 410, I believe. Yep. They're pretty close comparisons, and then um, I'm gonna go with the Federal five, six, and seven. Yeah. That shot, yeah. The meteors, yeah. That, that shot really good through. Those are actually like blowing gauge. holes right through. Yeah. The, the only board. thing that really blew a hole through that was yeah. the fives. I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, but absolutely. Yep, I would, uh, I'm pretty impressed with all of it, and uh, I'm glad we got dialed in. It was a good day for us to get together and sh shoot. We don't get to do that much. But. Yeah, so youth turkey season starts in Pennsylvania next week, uh, and then he's going to be heading out to Indiana the 24th. So uh, very excited and very excited about the merch. So yeah, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. Uh, looking forward to bringing you a bunch of turkey hunts this year. Um, had a great year last year in archery season, bear hunting. Yep. Uh, look forward to that but leave a comment below uh, make sure to use the hashtag cup and hashtag hat and that'll enter you in the drawing then we'll pick a random person here we'll end, give, of, we'll, end we'll, of turkey we'll, season let's give it through turkey season we can okay. promote it through all the turkey season yeah because we're gonna do new york yeah hopefully we're gonna shoot back to ohio hopefully into indiana indiana goes well yeah so pa new york indiana and hopefully ohio yep. Good luck to all you guys out there, and uh, keep us posted on how you're making out, and we'll see you on the next one. Yep.